Okay, let's talk about how you make a curved line in Cricut Design Space. Um, currently, there is no way to draw a curved line or create a curved line without some um, creative finagling with shapes. So the first thing you're going to do is open Cricut Design Space and start a new project. Um, I had one already going, so I have to replace it. Okay, so you should have a blank canvas like this. Um, and if you look over here at your Shapes tool, you'll notice that you've just got the generic shapes and nothing to do with lines other than the score line, which always just puts a straight line on your on your project or your page. Um, everything else over here is are things that you can either upload or create like text. Um, and you can curve your text a little bit, um, but that's for a different lesson. So the first thing I want you to do is um, click on your shapes tool and create a square. And then we're going to unlock the ratio and change it so it's like the size of a card front, so like four and a half by five and a half. Okay. And then we're just going to put this over here in the corner for a second because we're not going to use it quite yet. Next thing we're going to do is create some circles. Okay. And I want these to be like 1.85 because I know that those are going to fit across the top of this rectangle nicely. So go ahead and hit enter and because your ratio is locked, it'll um, resize it both top and bottom otherwise it would be making more of an oval okay so you've got this circle we're going to change the color just so it's easier for us to see and then we're going to we need three of these so you can either highlight the layer over here and click duplicate to get a second one or you can um, do command or control c on your keyboard and then command or control v to paste so now we have three of these and i'm going to kind of line them up with the edge of this um, rectangle just so I can see how I want to space them out and then put the third one on there. Okay. Um, you can hold the shift key and select multiple objects at a time. And then um, I'm going to select them and move them over here. But right now, um, let's, let's imagine that this one was down here and kind of off centered like this. Okay. Like we just created them and they were just sitting on our canvas. So if you click over here in the corner, hold and drag, it'll select the three circles. And then I want you to go to this align tool and I want you to align center vertically, which is going to align them all across their center. And then I want you to distribute them. So you're going to click this align tool again. And this time you're going to choose this distribute horizontally, which if you look at the picture, it shows you that you're spacing them from left to right. If you were doing it vertical, it would be from top to bottom. Okay. And you'll see how it moves that center circle so that it's perfectly spaced between these other two circles. While they're selected, click on this weld tool so that it creates one cutting shape instead of the edges. I'm going to hit undo just so you can see. See this black line here? That means that when these cut, they're going to cut each individual circle. And that's not what we want. We want it to be a solid shape. So we're going to select them and weld them. And then we're going to actually copy and paste this rectangle just so we have an extra one over here. And then I'm going to line this up with kind of like how I want it to make the, the scallop on the top of this rectangle, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna select the two shapes and I'm going to align them center. And then I'm gonna click the slice tool. And you'll see all these lines and edges where it actually cut all these things into pieces, okay? And the part that I really want is, so you could actually use this piece, right? as a design, or we can use this top. Actually, let's go back. I want these to be down just a little bit. So let's bring these down inside that shape and then slice again. So I'm going to use this top piece here. And it's still not quite how I want it. Got to bring it down just a little bit more so that it's below this edge because I want it to actually trim off all of this top piece. Okay. There we go. And you'll notice that when I go to move that top piece that I actually want, it's connected to this. And so I'm going to show you how to hide this bottom piece and just use this top piece to slice our card front. Let's turn our card front blue just so we know what we're working with. 
Um, so I'm going to select on this gray box and then I'm going to hit this contour button down here. And what this lets me do is hide parts that I don't want design space to see or cut. So if I click on this, um, see how it goes light gray. And when I X out, the only thing I have left is this top swirl part that I actually want. And I'm going to line this up with the top of my rectangle or my card front. So I'm going to align top and then I'm going to align center and then I'm going to slice one more time. So there's a lot of slicing to get the curves that we want. Okay, but now we have the front of our card and it's got the scalloped edges like we want. These are all just extra pieces we can delete. So I might want to save this just to use again. So I'm going to just put it up here in the corner. Okay, um, I'm going to create another rectangle and we're going to practice some different slicing. Unlock your ratio and make it 4.5 by 5.5. Okay, and now let's do, I'm just going to put this over here out of the way. Let's play with the hearts because they've got a curved edge on them too. Okay, and I'm going to shrink this down just a little, change the color so that we can actually see what we're working with. And I'm going to center this right here along the edge. This one you might actually use for more of like, you could overlap. Let's see what it looks like when we, okay. So copy paste and let's overlap like this. And I'm just going to get them generally lined up and then I'll use the distribute tool to make sure that they're all perfectly spaced. But I just keep pasting and putting another heart on there. I think one or two more, one more. Okay, so the heart size that I made was width 1.088 and then the height was 1.03. I left the ratio, so if you wanted to duplicate that, you could. Um, and then I'm gonna select all of these hearts and I'm going to hit the align to top and then center or distribute horizontally, okay? And then I'm just gonna scooch them over just a little because I want this edge to kind of start more in the center of that heart. Okay, so now we're going to weld them all together so that they make one piece. And then I'm going to scooch this out of the way. And you'll notice that it's kind of given me like if I wanted like a jagged grass edge or something like that was more Halloween-y, okay? But then I'm also going to have this nice curvy on the top too. So let's see what we get. So click out here and select both objects or you can select them both over here in your layers panel. And then we're going to slice. not slicing okay so then we can remove these and this and you'll see we've got let's see so we can click on this object and hit the contour button and hide this bottom so let's let's not hide the bottom let's hide these top pieces I think I just unhid that one So I can see what we've got going on here. We just need to get rid of that top still. Mm, they're connected somehow. Let's do this. We're gonna put a circle over it. And select the two and slice again. Okay, and then we can delete these. Oops. Oh, let's see if we can hide this with the contour too. Okay, so now we've got this nice, like jaggedy kind of, it's got a little bit of a wave look through it there, or we could use the top of this one and um, we're gonna have to slice again. Um, so let's do a rectangle and make it unlocked ratio. 4.5 by 5.5 and then notice this one's behind and I actually want it in front so I can actually click and drag this to the front or I can use this arrange tool and send it to the front and I'll show you how to do that in a second okay I'm just gonna line those back up again select slice 
and this time I want to save the top part of this shape. So when I hide the contour, I'm going to hide the bottom so that I just have this part left and make one more rectangle. There's lots of shapes and slicing that you have to do to get the shapes that you want. 5, 4.5, 5.5. Oops, we still have a ratio locked. There we go. And then put this on the top. And this time I need to move it to the front again. I'm going to use this tool. So arrange, move, or send to front so that it comes up to the front. And I'm just going to change the color so that it's easier for you to see. And now I'm going to slice. And then I can move this out of the way. And if you get edges and pieces that you don't want, um, you can just put another shape over it and kind of slice it out. So let's see, I don't want this sharp edge right here. So I'm just gonna put this over like this and then slice. And you'll see that it gives me a couple little pieces here and takes that sharp edge out. It went a little into my curve, but it's okay. I'm just doing it quick. Same with this one. And then slice, and delete, and then I can just move this out. It's just one way to kind of clean up some stuff. You might have to do it a few times or use more of a, a soft edge on it. Depending on what you're going for there. That's a little bit better. Okay, so that's just a few different ways to make some curves. We can, you can also just upload um, curves that you've already got um, as an SVG or ping file. So I'm gonna show you how to do that one too. Let's do another one more rectangle and we'll do 4.5 by, unlock the ratio and make this 5.5. And then I'm going to um, click the upload button over here and you'll see that I've already got this shape in. I'm just gonna show you how I got that in there. So you browse and choose a curve. Okay, let's say I want this one. And then save, and then select it. And I'm actually gonna select this one. And then insert the image, okay? Um, in this case, I don't want the ratio because I wanna be able to like kind of drag it out and make it a little bit longer and smoother. And I want this edge to come all the way until the edge of this curve shape is off the edge of my rectangle. Okay, and then I'm gonna select the two and slice, and then I can just delete the extra pieces that I don't want, and I have a nice curve on the edge of my rectangle. Um, these are stuck together, so I'm gonna have to use that contour again and hide a shape, but now I've got a nice flowing curve across the top of that rectangle and I can use it for a design or a banner or whatever it was that I was designing. I could flip it and then change the size of it a little and use it for a text banner. That one's a little wonky, but you get the idea. I could have done it with a smaller rectangle, but um, there will be curve tools um, available in this lesson for you to download also and go ahead and play them and see what kind of curves you can make.